Hey there, Soul Shines. It's Michelle here, and it is Thursday. Things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, yeah. Things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, things we're making Thursday, yeah. Okay, so really it's Wednesday. I'm recording on a Thursday, Wednesday. So it's ready to post for Thursday, but you know, you're watching it on Thursday or later. Um, it is Amigurumi. No, it's not. <laughs> Sorry. It is Granny Square Month. I don't love Granny Squares. I also have been very busy on other projects. I've been working on a mosaic crochet project, finishing up a shawl, uh, starting a new shawl, finishing up a sweater, starting a new sweater. Like I have so much going on that Granny Squares were not even a part of the picture. I did do one uh, that was a mosaic granny square, uh, overlay mosaic crochet, which was really fun and very different. I liked the back. The back is really fun looking because it did a circle thing. Um, and it just turned out really fun. And I think I want to make dishcloths with those. We'll see. But I don't really personally have anything granny square to talk about. Um, I did want to share Angela. She sent a picture or a couple pictures of a um, granny square sweater um, is that a vest I don't know, I can't remember uh, off the top of my head but you'll see the pictures I'm putting the pictures up now so you can see what she did with granny squares um, I do know that if my daughter had me just be able to make her everything that she wanted I would have made one of these by now she likes them um, I don't think they're ugly. They're just not me. I just, it's not my style and that's okay. And that's what I love about crocheting and knitting is, you know, you get to make all kinds of different things. Some people love making amigurumis and that's all they make. Some people love making wearable, wearables and that's all they make. Um, some people go through periods of making things. Some people like just have a consistent thing all the time. Some people prefer just to crochet. Some people prefer just to knit. Some people prefer to do both. Some people prefer not to do either. It's okay. There's all kinds of options and things. And so that's one of the things I love about crochet is that just because I don't love the granny stitch does not mean, well, it's not the granny stitch, the granny squares. Just because I don't love the granny squares doesn't mean that you can't love the granny squares. Um, you may love them and you may love making all kinds of things with granny squares. That's not me. I don't know what it is about them. I just, I seriously, like even as a kid, I just didn't like them. And of course it was very popular. Now I didn't mind, um, my grandma, I sure miss her. My grandma made a blanket for my son and my son is now 31 years old and she made it for him when he was a baby um, and it was basically a good big huge granny square and I didn't mind that I liked the way it turned out it was really pretty it was really sweet of her to make it um, yes his little fingers poked through but I enjoyed that one um, so it might be more about the squares. I mean, I've made granny square things throughout history. I have nothing to share with you of my own work, no pictures and stuff, just talking about it. Um, I do want to say thank you. I still use a clip of um, from the things we're making Thursday from Jazz, J Hook Magic, and there's still a link to the Facebook group in the description. I always put the link along with what's coming up, but I wanted to come over and look at what is coming up i didn't even open this page so now i gotta go to it um my notions page i know that it's not for everybody but man i love notion okay so the little blurb that i always cut and paste into here says uh feel free to join us at any time if you have a channel use the hashtag um T W M T, and if you don't have a channel send us your pics and we'll add them to our videos now as you can tell Angela's been sending me pictures and I add them to my videos um, 
and I would love to add yours. So if you have anything that you would like to share that's Granny Square, um, I think we still have another month, week? Where are we? Um, today is, yeah, we still have another Thursday in, um, for this month. So if anytime during this next week, if you want to send me pictures, um, I need to have them by Wednesday so that I can add them in. Um, yeah. So a, a, if you want to, my email is always down below. Um, so then the next thing is please join the Facebook group and share your pictures there. I am a member of the Facebook group, but I hardly get on Facebook, so I do not share there. Um, but I'm sure it's a great group. And then the upcoming themes for 2024. So we are in August with something made from granny squares. September, it's coming and it will be shawls. For October is Halloween. Now, if you don't celebrate Halloween, I'm going to give you permission to just do something fall. Because I come in my state, um, like we celebrate Halloween. It's my daughter's favorite holiday. So uh, if I make something Halloween, most likely it will go to her. Just saying. But not everybody does. We have a lot of people who um, they, and I, and I don't think it's just in my state, but a lot of people like use their religious beliefs, which in techni technicality is probably the same as mine, but this, the way that they go with it, um, they choose to not do anything Halloween. They don't do trigger cheating. They don't do anything related to Halloween. To me, Halloween is just a fun opportunity to enjoy life, to have fun, to get to dress up, to decorate. I don't do spooky, but I do fun spooky. You know, like I think there's a lot of things that you can do to think I, I do cute Halloween stuff. Um, and I don't participate in some of the other parts of Halloween. So there are people though that don't even do that. So they would do fall decorations. And so in my opinion, and I have not said anything to the Thanks for Making Thursday group, but in my opinion, if you want to participate, but you don't want to make Halloween, make something fall. Yeah, that's my opinion. And then there's a part of me that wonders, okay, what do the people in the other hemisphere, hemisphere do for, do, I mean, like, fall? For Halloween in Australia, like, it's spring. So doing fall seems kind of silly. I guess they could make their fall and save it for six months. Um, anyway, just so those random thoughts. I'm in random mood. Okay, so November is hats and um, I have some ideas even though I am constantly um, knitting tithing hats I have ideas because my daughter has a hat that she really wants me to make so I think I might make that in November for her plus Christmas will be coming so and I haven't really thought much about if I'm making Christmas for people but anyway and then December is holiday of choice so you could do Christmas as it's December. You could do Hanukkah. You could do Kwanzaa. It, do they decorate? I don't know if they decorate, but they make presents uh, or give presents. So I'm sure you could make presents. Um, New Year's. I don't know what you'd crochet for New Year's, but it could be fun. Um, Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day. I love St. Patrick's Day. I don't know why, but I do. Easter. Um, what comes next? I don't know what you would do for Memorial Day. I guess flags or uh, the little red poppies. I don't remember what they're called, but they're a military symbol. Could probably do those. Maybe peace lilies. Uh, then you've got Flag Day. You've got uh, July 4th you've got if you're in Utah or your LDS you can do pioneer stuff that would be fun um, and then you've got 
Labor, what would you do for Labor Day? Hot dogs and hamburgers <laughs> for all the picnickers. Um, and you've got Patriot's Day, so we've got some more uh, things. A, you've got Halloween, you could do more Halloween stuff. Thanksgiving, um, I actually have some, a turkey, hand turkey video for how to do a hand turkey pattern thing. So that would be fun. Um, anyway, so when you get to December, you have all kinds of holidays to choose from. Now, I just did, I just kind of did a mental rundown through the United States holidays. I don't know what holidays would be in your country if you live like, say, Canada or England or Australia or anywhere else in the world. But, um, yeah. So that's kind of a rundown of what's coming. We, like I said, if you do do anything Granny Square in the next week, let me know. Um, I might ask my daughter if she likes like Granny Square bucket hats, cause like that would be like a very fast whip it up project. I probably could get that done in a week, but I don't know. Like I said, I'm doing mosaic. I'm the overlay mosaic blanket. I just started my blue section. I'm very excited about that. If you want to see updates about that, those videos come out on Tuesdays. Um, I have come back on Monday because I for sure have one finished object sitting there. Well, technically two, but one's a hat. Or did I share that one? No, I think I already shared that hat. Yeah, but I do have a finished object and I might have another finished object done. Um, and you can see all the different things I'm working on. So lots going on, lots going on. Which is why I'm like, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do a granny square since I don't love it anyway. But shawls, definitely have things going on for shawls. So come back in September because I will have things to show you in September. Um, anyway, remember to let your light shine through your creations, whatever they be. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!